to Radio Nigeria. This is Africa's largest radio network and you are watching Red Carpet Show. It's a very beautiful program and what we do is quite simple. We bridge the gap between you and your favorite stars. Today on the program, I am here in Las Giddy, Lagos State and we are meeting the man. This is Wole Oni Music Productions. I'll give you a clip. He is the brain and the hand to produce this song. So many beautiful songs have been winning beautiful awards. The guy that produced Tosti Martin's Leomi and um, Ijobon by Lara George and then Onyeka Omenu, a couple of great artists. And he has worked with people like you, then Chaka Chaka, you have uh, Shikome, you have uh, Kefi. If you do love Midnight Crew, Igwe. This is the guy that produced the bit. We're going to be meeting him, so walk with me. By the way, my name is Ekene Otiwe, your regular host. Good, nah, good, nice. good, good, good. Pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, Have so your seat. Thank you. I told you, this is Wule Oni's studio, and uh, here's the man. <laughs> okay, I find it difficult to pronounce your full name. Irewole. Ir 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 yeah. Okay, Irewole. Yeah, 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 almost there. Almost there. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank Please you, have your sir. seat. Thank you. <sighs> So, I think, are we working on anything new or...? Uh, well, I'm working on a couple of uh, projects at the moment and I'm just, uh, you know, giving a different uh, approach to be able to achieve the best, so... Okay, when definitely. someone hears your name, the first thing that comes to mind is... Midnight Crew. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? How do you connect this whole... It, it seems, for me, it seems like, okay, I have a list artists I am mm -hmm. working with. If you're not within this league, I am not working with you. Uh, well, you know, o over the years, I, I think I've been able to prime myself with something good. So, if you're coming to me for production, it has to be good song, good music, something that appeals to my sense of, of musicality. I, I can't just produce based on the fact that I want to make money, or of course, money making is part of this, so you know what I'm saying. So, but then it must be interesting. There must be something enticing about the sound and the song itself. Uh, but I, I'm very selective for what I do for future sake. I've uh, been able to create that platform where other people can listen to my song in, in the next 20, 30 years and say, wow, that was a good job you did back then. So I'm trying to create a legacy for myself, not to, you know, shut myself at, you know, at the leg because I want to make money. And you know what? So many people are doing music today that in the next 10 years, they can't face the reality because of the fact that they haven't sown a good seed. So, Part of the thing that I've been able to do to be able to see the good and the bad is when you bring your song, if it's good, we're going to be working together. If it's not good, if you're willing to change, we can sit down and write the song and, you know, we can just have fun. Okay. That's what now, it is. let's take you way back into time. Tell us about from uh, uh, Spectrum Band. Uh, well, Spectrum Band was one of the, I would call it the Nigerian finest band that, has, that this country has experienced as a group of young men who. Uh, played jazz music. Um, we were managed by a, a, an African American lady called Rachel Stevens at that point in time, and we played, you know, in different occasions. Uh, we performed, you know, for Queen of England, performed uh, for President Obasanjo, and you know, a whole lot of people that we have performed with: American Embassy, British Embassy, and the, the you know, the list is just endless. And you know, we've come a long way, but. There come in time that um, everybody will have to decide. So, so we had we had to decide that okay, we know if this one want to move this way. Uh, you know, this other person is trying to rearrange himself to relocate. So, in, in a nutshell, everybody had to relocate uh, to some part of of the globe to find. No, I'll call it greener pastures. What? <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I flew around. Everyone is always yeah, like, something you know, something. So for me, I mean, it was. I see the, we see the jazz if, if, we, if the time comes that we have to come together um, either as a group or as individual we, we also still perform as at that level to just you know have fun. Mm. Have Beautiful. Fun. Now tell us about what, what inspired you or what inspired you the first time I do not know jazz music sounds more formal okay you talk about the, mm -hmm. the likes of Yanni you talk about the likes of David, Cos, and then Enya, and a whole host of other beautiful jazz musicians. Uh, here in Nigeria, I do not think it's really something that has its tent pitched deeply into our souls. Uh, well, the use of jazz music w wasn't what it is that people time it to be. 
somebody was saying that when you talk about jazz, jazz is nonsense, jazz is rubbish. I, I think a layman will feel that jazz is just something that they can't comprehend. I, I think it's just something that you can build your mind with. It's for the mature mind to say jazz music is, it consists of different notes, um, you know, different movements. It, it, there's liberty of of expression in, in jazz music. So uh, for me, I'm one of those, you know, the people who love act and I like to be expressive to be able to improvise. It gives room for interpretation and to show different moods and, you know, swing and different uh, velocity and rate of input that would also help anybody who listens to follow. But if, if you're not very deep, if you're very shallow, you might find it difficult to follow jazz music. But um, I haven't worked with so many people in, in industry, I, I still find, find jazz as something very interesting and, and that I, my kind of music that I would like to do anytime, any day. Alright, if you're just joining us, you are listening to Africa's largest radio network, Radio Nigeria. And the program you're listening and also you're watching is Red Carpet Show. It is a program where we showcase the finest, the skilled and most talented Nigerian artists. Today on the show I have I do not want to use the word young in the way of thinking young, but believe me, it's a, he is a classic. He is a lover of piano, and for, for, for you, I think he played a couple of times for one of the most finest, uh, um, what I call it, hospital, hospitality, uh, uh, what do you call it? I don't want to use the name of the place now. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, and he's been uh, the resident pianist right. of one of the most beautiful hospitable places in Lagos. And he's an accomplished producer. Of course, the awards should be able to tell you the story. And synthesizer, I do not know if I understand in the essence of uh, okay, the, the that, context. The context is just when you talk about synthesizers or the way to synthesize, it's just an electronic use of sound uh, that has to do with keyboard playing. Uh, you can simulate a lot of sound. I want to simulate the guitar sound that okay. is not played acoustically. I can do, do that on, on a keyboard. I want to simulate a bass, you know, even though these are live instruments or trumpets or, you know, just since that electronic sound generally. That okay. big sound that gives that you know that's very whiffy and has this big sound that will get across to you anywhere you are, you know. And also a programmer. Yeah, programmer. Yeah, you're a computer graduate. So yes. how would I leave something as juicy as computer science and computer programming and all that just for this? Well, I think it depends on where you are, where you're viewing music as. If you have done music and you have made money in music, you ask yourself what other profession in the world can give me this? Okay. Not only will you get satisfaction, you have, you know, you'll be rest-minded. You'll be, you'll be making money, and you don't have to also yourself. You don't have to wake up 7 a.m. to go to one work or anything. Mm -hmm. You come at your own time. When yeah, you're tired. You're at the bus. Yes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so it, it's very liberal in, 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 in the way it is that Music itself is, you know, rejuvenates your mind, your body, your mind. You know, you you just do it because you love it. It's not because somebody is forcing you to do it. It's something. Music is something you do when you're happy and being paid for what you love to do. I mean, it's extra. What it's else extra. can you ask for? Yes. yes so what else can you ask for? He actually started playing at a very young age at his father's church in Akure on the state. Right. Tell us about it. Uh, you know, but my father used to be the church organist. Uh, but when it passed, uh, there was that space for someone to play and feel the space. So I wasn't quiet. You know, I, I did the drumming. So I was picked. It was okay. Uh, we we can see talent in you. You know, even though I had no mind of going to music, it wasn't my intention. It wasn't anything I was you know looking for. But I picked it up, and I was I was you know practicing. That. And in less than two weeks, I was playing. And less than a month, I was playing in the church. I was playing the church hymns. You know, back in the choir up. So. From there, people started, you know, giving me, oh, wow, that's good. Keep it up, keep it up. You know, of course, anything that is in the blood, it flows yeah, all the way, you know what I'm saying? So, so from there, I started playing, and from playing, other things came in. It was almost like a source of income, which I wasn't even expecting. Even when I was in secondary school, I was also making money playing keyboard. I'm like, wow, this is good. So that's how the rest is history now. Well, in the 21st century, uh, let's talk about 21st century music production now. Right. For you. How would you classify your kind of music, like the kind of music you're into? Uh, well, to be sincere with you, I'm, I'm not limited to any genre of music. I do jazz, hip-hop, R&B, reggae, 
so new so just name any music that is is ever there or that you can you can hear i can do it okay the thing about uh, combination you now have what they call afro pop you have hip hop yes, yes, you have yes. um I do not know. There, all there, there's hybrid, hybrid, hybrid of, of music, of music that I do that. Becoming exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can quickly say that in this country, I, I'm one of the people who started to do hybrid music, to join Fuji with Apala, really? Apala with reggae, reggae with rock. It was my thing right? because we started to put all that together. It's okay. If you can sing R&B, you can bring it to hip hop. You can, trust me, it was a good combination of all of those and you know, you styles. And you love it. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> Alright, now let's talk about challenges you experienced and you, you are an accomplished producer. Mm -hmm. You've won so many awards. Well, well, you see, the thing about it, music production can, can be very sweet and can be very tedious. Uh, in terms of time, you will put in a lot of time to achieve just one song. Wow. And, you know, uh, unlike performance, if, if you're going to perform in, in an event, you just, it's one time thing. You're done there and you're done. But for music, when you're done, you're still listening for errors to be able to correct this, correct that. that that's a big, ch that's part of the job, though. I won't call it a challenge. But the challenge is the fact that uh, some of the things that are supposed to be your incentives, like you walk, they're supposed to have, uh, you know, what I call percentage and royalty, which is not available in this part of the world. Yeah, some of my works that I've done abroad, I have royalty in it. But, uh, 70% of my work is in Nigeria, so when you work with an artist, it's a payoff then. That's a challenge for me. Okay, beautiful. Could you... Like play something for yeah, you? Yeah, would you like to listen to? I do not know. Maybe something See, I have a few awards here. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, eleven. Eleven awards. Uh, this this one, uh, this is the recent one, 2013 award, best producer in Africa. I uh, just got this in London. Wow, that's recently. This is the best producer in Nigeria, 2013. 2013 as well. This is Crystal Award, 2013, best producer in Nigeria. Nice. This is best contributor to music in in Africa. This is. An award that I got uh, in the UK as well. Um, you know, this is best producer in Africa 2012. I got that as well. This is best producer in Nigeria 2011. Wow. This is best international music producer. I got this in the UK as well. Uh, you know, and also this another uh, award, best um, best musician, uh, genius producer of the year, which is the best producer at that point in time. Also got this award as called SEPTA Award, uh, as you can see, SEPTA Award, Best Producer in Nigeria. So, and all the money of that award, I can display on this, just on this face, you can yeah, see. The size. So, yeah. And this are just the people right there. So, we, we could call this your Hall of Fame. <laughs> <We'll definitely, laughs> okay. Hi, this is Wally Uni, Producer Extraordinary, and you're watching Red Carpet Show on Radio Nigeria. Thank you.